Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today is rather special. Uh, I read some of her books as a kid. We are going to visit the late great E. Nesbitt. Let's go. The uh, organ. The organ. Nice little church, though, isn't it? Yeah. Is it's, 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 it's church good talk. It's over there. Yeah. That's a good age in them days, isn't it? Eighteen thirty-five. There's something really when we think about silence. I don't think we can imagine this kind of silence. This is real silence, and to actually get away and find a church where you can be alone with your thoughts. It's, it's like... No, isn't it? The fact that it's actually open. Yeah. There's no one up there. Yeah, gothic it is as well. Reverend Emery Parker, MA, 44 years, rector of this parish, 1st October 1901, age 82. Mind you. That was an age back then. Yeah. At the turn of... Yeah, but that one's 1835. That's even like 60-odd years before. You're lucky if you reach 30 in them days. Yeah. Nice church, isn't it? Wow, that is such a cool... Oh, there's another one here, look. 1901 to 1915. To the glory of God and in loving memory of Edward William Wallet, Wallet, rector of this parish, uh, 1901 to 19... 1915. I mean, how beautiful is that? I mean, technically, it's not stained glass. No. Oh, look at that window, though. You may need to. Um, Come back to get the scale, the, the 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 absolute scale of it. I mean, yeah. Wow. Oh, look at those beams. That's what I mean. I'm really getting it's... a sense of mm. not like. That's what I'm saying. This church must have been built early eighteen and. 
early 19th century or early 18th, late 18th century, probably late 18th century. I, I mean, they say that goths feel so unwelcome in in churches and you know it, it, it is true I, I've not had the best experience but uh, this is the best time to come to a church when it's empty you, when, yeah yeah it is because you can appreciate the gothic the absolute gothic you, yeah. you know Although yeah. this isn't really that gothic. I've seen churches oh, yeah. that are more this gothic, is... but this is really, really... It so uses time, though, history, it? and if, if these walls, these pillars could talk... Mm, that's what I said, it's time, though, isn't it? conversation. Mm. OK, let's continue. It's lovely, isn't it? It's like... I don't know what it means, but it must mean something. Oh, oh there's another one there. That's uh, the good. smaller head. Yeah. I wonder what these were meant one, for. I reckon that one. That one. These I reckon spaces. Like a, archways. Yeah, but no, I reckon that one there yeah. is um, like the face of the priest or something. Because you look at that one and it looks like scary monster kind of thing, you know what I mean? Demonic. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Maybe. Have we had a look at that? <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. You got them in there, look. They've got on this church window there, look. Either side of the window. You see them? Little ones. Oh, oh yes, the little. They've almost, they almost remind me of the gargoyles. What is it? Go, gargoyles. gargoyles. Yeah, yeah, gargoyles. That's what they're called, gargoyles. If it is them, it's weird to have them actually in a church. Mm. I've seen them outside a church, but yeah. they're inside. Yeah, you see, I've not got any on these ones. No. Is there a picture on that one? Or is it just a plain window? No, I, no. Just a plain window? Okay. I might want to zoom in. The, the window's reflecting on. Yeah. This is such. A, I, I'm getting a feeling of so, so steeped in top one. Yeah. The yeah, 800 years has been here. We at St. Uh, they're swimming. Oh, hang on, I don't know more. We at St. Mary's the Virgin are proud of our small ancient church and we hope that you have enjoyed your visit. For nearly 800 years, <coughs> we have welcomed visitors from all over the world. The upkeep of this building is our privilege and our duty but it is an increasing burden on an, a relatively small congregation for 2021 we estimate that this will cost approximately 280 pounds per week to oh wow to maintain and run the church in its current state i'm yeah. surprised it's not more if yeah. I'm honest. That's still a lot of money a week though, isn't it? Wow. Nearly 300. Yeah, nearly 300 quid. It's what I earn a week. Mm. Okay, we can't leave this magnificent historical church without just everyone that we've briefly connected with through plaques or some other 
um, remembrance in this church and we've tapped into their life. It's not bad for an 800 year old church though, is it? No, it, it's fantastic. Thank you. What a sight indeed. <laughs> my spirit, my spirit, uh, oh, hang on. You know that scene in Roald Dahl's Danny Champion of the World? I, I just get that vibe. Let's take a look in more detail. I mean, look how old those wheels are. Like... So old that they've rusted. And the other. Wow. Still in good nick though. I love discovering things like this. You know. Okay, back to finding Edith. The trouble we may have, guys, is because this church is so old, um, it dates back to the 1400s, we may, I mean, you can see the state of these gravestones. I mean, the, this is the camera straight. That should give you a pretty good idea how rough the foundations are. Um, I don't know what that, that was originally. Some kind of monument, I'm guessing, because of the railings no I can't get to Oh, it has got a bell. Oh, this one's sad. This one is terribly sad. Ah. Oh, no. Now he's got heat on it. <laughs> See you there. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's there though. No, because no, she's old. No. Oh dear Edith, I think. <laughs> and th 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 this one's got no headstone at all. Yeah. It may have sunk. It may have. We don't know. That that's a nice grave. A lovely grave, Henrietta. What a lovely name, Rose Mi Miller. Is that Miller? It's a nice. Past it. <laughs> yes. Found you, Edith. Right, do you want to read it? Yeah, yeah. 
This tablet was erected by her many friends in memory of Edith M. Nesbitt, 1858 to 1924, who delighted the arts of so many children by her books and who spent the last years of her life in this parish. I will dwell among my children. Oh, Edith, I'm so glad that I, I found you. Thank you so much um, for your books, The Railway Children. But my personal favourite isn't The Railway Children, although I, I did enjoy that as a kid. I sure did. Yeah, um, my favourite was Five Children and It, which tells the story, uh, spoiler, about um, five children that are granted um, wishes by a sand fairy that lives, um, I think it, it, it was based <coughs> quite near um, the uh, a, a beach or somewhere and he comes up and, and the BBC, uh, I think in the 90s, adapted it into a five, six part series and that opened up your work to a lot of people that wouldn't have necessarily been aware of your book, Five Children and It. And also The Railway Children, that was adapted um, into a film. Um, so, so I'm so glad that I, I, in my way, have got to meet you. Um, and I trust that you're at rest. Um, thank you for your books.